Y'all know, she was really sick. I don't know if y'all know that. She got, um, she got super sick and I ended up having to rush her to the ER, dog ER, and she had pancreatitis. <laughs> I'm trying to keep her away from treats, but you know, that's all she wants. Why is that? Why is that all she wants? I just don't know. I don't know. What can you do? All right, so, sorry y'all, I'm a little disorganized. <laughs> How are y'all doing tonight? You see this? This is what they do. They stick all this stuff up here that they want me to make. <laughs> They're like, I want you to make this, so I'm gonna put it up there. Okay. All right, so we're gonna do a bow with this. <gasps> Don't y'all love this? So I'll tell you the Bella story when we're making a bow. So it's this, and then, <gasps> look at that. It matches the pumpkin. Have you seen the colored um, leopard prints this year? <gasps> They're so pretty. And then we just have a tan and an orange. This is actually going to be the August wreath kit. This one, this ribbon, but I was gonna do a bow with it because I think it's so cute. So how are y'all? All right, let's get zoomed in here. Belly, come here baby, you're not getting any. I'm sorry. She's mad at me. <laughs> okay, so y'all know I take the boys to, oh my goodness, what is all this stuff? I think Bree was trying to clean for me, but <laughs> these are tools. Okay, hold on. <laughs> all right. So on Wednesday, Bella started acting kind of weird. Like, she was lethargic. She was begging for treats, but then she wouldn't eat them. So, I didn't know what was wrong. So, I called the vet. Oh, and we went to five guys. So, we're going to do 12-inch. And my dad offered her a little hamburger. And, y'all, let me tell you, she is obsessed with meat. And she wouldn't eat it. So, I knew something was wrong. So, I called the vet. And they, you know, talked to him about what her symptoms were. And they said, do you have a thermometer? So we're going to do six and a half. I said, yeah, I've had to um, take her temperature before because she had an allergic reaction one time to a vaccine. So they said, it was like 4.30 or something like that. And they said, if, if it's over... 102.5 then you need to take her to the emergency vet otherwise if it's just under that then you can bring her in in the morning so I took her temperature it was 104.4 so needless to say we trucked on over to the emergency vet and when we got over there and they finally got her back y'all they're really busy it was 105.6, which was pretty dang scary. So they kept her. Hi, sweet girl. Hi, Bill. Anyways, it was really scary. So. They kept her um, a good 24 hours. No, you're not having it, baby. It was a good 24 hours. We got there like at, I don't know, six o'clock at night. And they took her back about seven. And they came and talked to us about eight, eight. Until the next. home or not okay so we did 
three loops, all right, at six and a half inches. And then we did two loops at six and a half inches, although that one looks a little small. Uh huh, you can jump up there all night. You're still not getting one of this. And then, so when I talked to the vet, she said she thought it was pancreatitis and she had a heart murmur from that high fever. So it was scary. But thank God she's home and she's doing well. She's on medicine. But I'm trying to keep the diet really bland for the next two weeks. She is just like, I'm not having it. I'm not having it. But she's going to have to because we don't really want to be sick again. Okay. Don't y'all love this ribbon? Look how cute this is. I love this. Okay. So, one thing, when you're making bows, it is totally okay to have your tails. Uh-oh, YouTube is freezing? I don't know why. Must be YouTube, because everything's good on my end. So, we want to go about five and a half with this one. So, a full inch shorter. Okay. bit more. Okay, and then I'll just make sure these match. Yep. So remember when you're doing bows like this, if you will decrease the loop size as you go up, then you'll be able to see more of the ribbons. It must be something with YouTube. Okay, so this is going to be a three, two, one, three, two, one. That just means three loops, two loops, one loop. All of those at the same size, then three loops, two loops, one loops, all at this size. Oh, awesome. Okay, this is also a pattern driven. So once we get it on, we're gonna look at it and see if we need to twist anything. I think we will. Okay, on the last loop, you do not need to twist because you just pull it straight out and do your tail. I'm sorry, but you're not having another one. Nope, you had all you're having and all you're having is chicken. She's mad at mama. Okay, so let's see. This ribbon right here needs to twist. Can you see that? You see how these are upside down? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, I'm gonna pull it to the side so you can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna take this whole piece and I'm gonna twist it with my hands inside there. So it's actually twisted kind of on the outside, but it won't matter. Okay, this one here. So I want them to be going in the same direction. So I'm going to twist this one here. Okay. These are this one's fine. I have to twist this one. So we're going to end up twisting three of our six, and that's because some of these are facing down. So it's fine that they're kind of opposite because you can still see that they're the same. So can you see they're the same? So now you can see how all of the pumpkins are going in the same direction. And all we did was twist it right at where it's in the bow maker. So if you're doing it by hand, you just twist it in your hand. Okay. So let's put, no, let's put, don't want to put orange in? Maybe. No, I think I'm gonna put tan in. I wanna put tan in. Okay. Okay. 
See how I did learn something from the um, ER vet. So I, you know, Bella is on low fat, so she can't have any kind of fat because it will upset her pancreatitis. So I was like, well, what am I gonna give her the medicine in? Because she's not a good medicine taker. And I absolutely I hate shoving things down dogs' throats. Oh, awesome. So she said I could give it and um, I could go get canned chicken and mush it up and give it to her. So I did. And man, she eats it right up. I'll never give her a pill another way. So you know how you can go in the grocery store and you get that canned chicken? Yeah, well that's what we got. It works like a charm. Okay. All right. This one's gonna be so pretty. Let's get our zip tie out. I'm gonna pull it up on one side. So see how I just kind of pull it up like that? And then I stick that zip tie all the way in until I get to the center. And I'm just gonna tighten it enough to get it out of the bow maker, like that. Oh, isn't that pumpkin ribbon pretty? Tuna. Oh, that's a good idea, too. But she, she kind of made me promise that I would not give her anything except bland food. I know, and I'm sorry. Okay, so we can see where the indention is. So I will kind of hold it while I'm pulling it around. And as I'm tightening it, I'm going to make sure that everything stays where that indention is. Yeah, try it. It works really well. I, I was shocked. You can say hi to everyone, but you cannot have another treat. You'll have it when we get home. Okay, so I'm going to put the little pipe cleaner through there. I'm still looking to make sure I have everything in the indention. And then I'll pull it really tight. Then I'll hold all three of these pieces. It just makes it a little easier to break the bow. Okay. I pull all of my tails out front like this. I'm sorry. She's mad. Okay, so you twist and pull. Twist and pull. Twist and pull. This is breaking the bow. What it does is see how all how it's all squashed in here well when you take it and you twist and pull then I can pull this one up here twist and pull I can pull this one down here and I can pull this one in the middle you see how much better it looks you always want to start your bow from the bottom and work to the top Oh, okay, so if you have a new Easy Bow Maker and it's hard to get the loops off, you do this. Just pull it for like a minute and hold it. If you can't hold it, just stick something in there like this, and it'll loosen it up, and then when you go to pull it out, it'll be a lot better. It's just when it's kind of new and you haven't used it a lot, but it gets better. So don't give up on it. Okay, we got one side done. You see the difference? If I just fluffed it and didn't do the twisting, let me just show you the difference. All right, can you see the difference? You see how nice and fluffy all this is on the side and it's all in the place? Well, because we did that step and it needs that step. So 
So don't skip that step. Even if you're using it on your fluff box, still do it. Okay. Hmm. All right. So we got bow one. I took the zip tie off. And these look really great on anything. Okay, so to mail a bow, what you do is you can get a box either like 12 by 12 or 12 by 15. And I punch a hole in the bottom of the box. And then I take and I put a pipe cleaner up on each side. And I tie this down to that pipe cleaner. I also put in the box. This is how you, you know, clip the clip it from the bottom so that you can um, get it out without squashing it. And then it nothing touches it. It's not going to move inside the box. All right. I know. Don't worry if it's really bad. I'll put up the recorded one. Okay, so now we're gonna do, see you can see how much is left over. You could do two bows. I just made a really big one. All right. Look at this ribbon we got in. I'm obsessed with this ribbon. I'm working on a sign. I haven't finished the sign yet, but it's coming. I'm working on it. I'm trying to get the colors the way I want it. So we've got this one. Okay. This one. I have three of the ribbons. And this one. So these are the three ribbons I have. And then I just pulled one from my shelf just to do red and white. Y'all, she'll be pouting for a while. I'll tell you, she's still staring at me. <laughs> uh, and we have these too. So this is a cedar. This is a cedar pick. Isn't that cute? Look at all the little cedar stuff in it. Ficus and some berries. I thought it would be fun. Let's close that thing out. I thought it would be fun to do. Some more stuff in our bow. We need stuff in our bow. Okay. Yes. Like a 10 inch round. I have the 10 inch round, y'all. I just have not listed it. I'm sorry. I'll get it done this week, I promise. Last week, we got the signs in, or the week before, and this whole thing with Bella's kind of thrown me for a loop just not cool I will do it though so we'll have it on 8 uh, 8 10 and 12 so. all right so let's go all the way out to the 7 okay Let's do two loops. Right there. Oh, and y'all, my my nine bow video, I broke up so that each bow is by itself in case you wanted to I had somebody request that, so I went and broke the whole thing up. So if y'all want to watch just one bow at a time, you can do that. Oh, you have the elf ribbon. Yay. Okay. These are my favorite. Like This is like one of my favorite color combos is this. Okay. One of the reasons I like to do the two-one bow is because you can really stack it up 
but you're using less ribbon than if you did the three, two, one, but you're still getting a nice big juicy bow. So now we're gonna go to six inch. So you know when you're when you use Probo the hand, the biggest thing, the reason that the Probo looks like it does, is because it goes up like half an inch with every dowel. So it's a really great thing to do when you're making bows. I'm aware, Bella. I'm aware. So this one is also, so I specifically picked, if you haven't noticed yet, I specifically picked patterned ribbons tonight because that's what I really wanted to go through. Um, if you really have a lot of trouble fluffing your bows, then a fluff box won't hurt you. It's certainly not going to hurt to have it. It's not necessary. You can actually just, all you need is a is a nice heavy piece of wood all right here we go this guy's upside down this guy's upside down so we take it we pull and just twist the whole piece just like that whole piece just like that and then everybody's going the same direction so now we'll come in with a little of this. I just wanted a little glitter. Gotta have a little glitter. Okay. Make sure it's the right size. I don't think this one's the right size. Oh, it is. Okay. There we go. So these kinds of picks, you can pull the pieces out. And then we could slice it in. I like to hook it around this peg just to keep it in place until I get it, hi Betty, until I get it zip tied in. Okay. So like this. So you can see how I have it kind of hooked in there. Okay. It's the same thing with this one. Now a lot of these, what they've done is they've put the tape on it to keep it kind of together. So we can actually take our scissors cut some of this paper away makes it a little bit easier to kind of pull it off Bella honey you're gonna drive yourself and me crazy I am aware that you're there <laughs> she's determined okay there's a little piece holding it Take that off there so you want to do that so that you can actually get to the piece so this has a blue tint to it which is why I'm adding it in uh oh where'd this come from right there well there it goes nope it's not going to go back in. That's okay. It's got plenty. Okay. Let's get another one for the other side. Looks like we need to cut it a little bit more.
<laughs> Y'all, you can't see her, but she's over here jumping up and down on the table that has those little bones on it. <laughs> well, that didn't work, did it? Don't pull like I did. That's what I get for being impatient. Okay. I know. <laughs> I know she thinks she's starving. She needs Mama Sue here. She does. I tried to get Mama to come over here, but her knee is not doing very well. So she really didn't want to have to walk across the warehouse. So. We're going to get her knees, her knee shots next week. So hopefully she'll be feeling a lot better after that. Okay, so I just put these back on. Since I yanked them all off in my haste. going to do this ribbon again just because I love it but smaller okay so we will go even smaller than before When you're putting florals in, you can actually do it all the way through. You don't have to wait until the end, like I'm doing. See, so now this pick will pick up on that blue. I know, these are terrible, aren't they? Let's see, I feel like that one's bigger. No, it's fine. <laughs> Bella, Mama's going to give you chicken when we get home. Chicken. Yeah. Okay. There we go. If you want all of your tails coming out, you're going to have to trim it off and hide it underneath in order to get them going the same direction. I know that's kind of a pain, but unfortunately there's no good trick to fix that. Ooh, I wish there was. Okay. Let's put a little bit. A ficus in here. I pulled two because I want this long piece. But you don't have to use the long piece. You could use any of the pieces. I'll use that. I use the ficus a lot. Okay, like that. One more little thing of berries. These berries are great. They, they're really great. I love using the berries. And it's just about that season again. There we go. I want these to be a little longer. I'll leave these in here and then as I make my bow, if I see that I need to trim anything, I'll trim it at the end. Let's, let's do the turquoise. So I'm gonna do the turquoise so that the red berries will pop right off of it. There we go. There. Ugh, we have one of those spots. I hate when they do that. Okay. And yep, it's in all of the rolls. Unfortunately, there's nothing we can do about it. 
most of the time it's not a problem but sometimes it's in the exact wrong spot and I'll cut it out okay now we'll get our zip tie Okay, and the same thing. So we just lift it up, just like this, pull it under. You wanna make sure you've got everything in there. So when you're doing this one, you're making sure that you have all of your little embellishments in there. Okay. So then I pull it out, let's put that up. This one, let's do a red, do a red one, okay? So same thing, I'm gonna gently hold it and pull this around, keeping track of where that indentation is. Oh, so, how do I charge when I use sprigs from a bush? So if I use the majority of it and I don't think I can use anymore, I'll charge the whole thing. If, so like this, I used half, I'll charge half. I probably used a quarter of this, I'll probably charge half. If I think I'm gonna use it again, I will only charge partial, but if I don't think I'll use it again, I'll charge the whole thing, kind of my rule of thumb. And you know when you're pricing things out to never price them at sales price, right? Don't ever price things at sales price. Okay, so we got it in there. Let's tighten it up. Okay, and the same thing. We're going to break the bow. Bella, honey, give it up. Once I get it all in place, then I will look at my little greenery pieces and see if I need to move any of them. So the greenery is meant to enhance. So sometimes what I'll do is I'll pull it like this so that they're kind of right around the loops. Okay. So pull it up so I can see it. Like here. Like pull this down a little. Okay, pull this one up a little. Pull this one down a little. There. This one, I want to kind of push it up a little. There we go. All this does is save you time when you're putting your greenery in so you don't have to do it at the end. Okay, and then we can do our tails. So we'll pull these out. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I wish I could turn the camera so y'all could see what she's doing over there. She is going a little bit crazy. Okay. There we go. All right, let's do our tail. It's also fun to have things coming out the bottom of the bow. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> All right. There 
we go. All right, so there's, here is the elf bow. See, and look how cute it looks when you put it on something. So it's kind of hard to see when it's, I'm just holding it, but when you put it on something, then it kind of really shows a little bit more. Yes, baby, I see you're there. I know you want something. And there's the pumpkin one. I think next week we're gonna do a hand bow. What do y'all think? Should we do a hand bow next week? I think we should. I think that would be fun. Thank you. Awesome. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed it. And don't worry, I'll go back and review this. And if it looks like it kind of cut in and out a lot, I will put it. <laughs> All right. Well, I am going to take Bella home so I can give her some of that chicken. Uh, yes, she is being quiet as she's throwing her fit. <laughs> she is cracking me up. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I have some easy hand bows. So, we'll be all good. Don't worry. I can show you some really easy ones. Okay, I hope y'all have a wonderful night. And I will see you guys tomorrow night. I think we're going to do... I have one of those... Um, kits out that has the smaller wreath frame the 13 inch so I think we're gonna do that and Thursday we're gonna do this this guy so because we were supposed to do it last Thursday but yeah that didn't happen <laughs> all right y'all y'all have a great night and I'll see you guys tomorrow night okay <laughs>